Nimble Collective provides the tools and methods necessary to help those people who have a great story to tell. Jason Schliefer gave me some insights about the opportunities available for any storyteller to work with their animation technology. I'm currently here with J Jason Schleifer, who's one of the co-founders and head of content. Jason, welcome. Thank you. So tell me, what is what does the head of content actually do here at Nimble Collective? Well, what we're really trying to do is help people create great content, create animation. So mm -hmm. I kind of see my job as an enabler. Like I'm looking at everything they're trying to do and I try and figure out how to help them, whether it's writing scripts to help them do things technically, giving them artistic feedback, or actually animating on a short. Whatever it is that they need, I'm trying to help them do it. That's a pretty big spread of uh, skill sets. I mean, yeah. I, I see you're a head of animation at DreamWorks. Uh, yep. You worked a couple of things. You worked on Lord of Rings. So, yep. have you done all those jobs that you're currently helping people do? Yeah, now? yeah. It's that's one of the best things about this career is that I started out being very technical, uh, mainly because I wanted to animate. But when I was doing it, there weren't very many tools for animation. So I was like, if I want to make things move, I got to figure out how to do it. So I learned how to do scripting and stuff like that and then just over time have tried as many things as I possibly can. You're working on some internal projects, correct? Right? Yeah, we've got about five different filmmakers that we're helping make their own films. So it's, what's important to us is you know, coming from a, a high-end film industry where normally you're helping the director make their film, what we want to do here is enable people who aren't normally directors to do it. And so we're coming in and saying, you have a story you want to tell. I want to help you tell your story. I'll give you advice and suggestions and kind of push you to try and make it as good as possible, but it's your story. So we want to enable them. Let's just say I have a story I want to tell. You know, I mm -hmm. have five stories I want to tell. I have to think about it. So I say I got the story to tell, and it's, I just outline it to you a little bit. And then yeah. what do you say to me? Write it down, storyboard. What do you say? Yeah. Say well, what's what are you what are you actually trying to tell? Like, what's the message you want to say? And then what do you imagine it looking like? Is it a uh, kind of a flat, cartoony style look, or do you want this big, rich environment where it really feels like you're in there? Let's think about what's the best way to tell your story that's going to really connect with an audience, and then figure out from there. Um, how can you start approaching it? Whether it's, you know, do you bring in design? Do you start doing models? Do you just start writing? Mm -hmm. Whatever seems to make the most sense to get you moving forward. Do you ever tell people it's not a good story? Uh, <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, wondered, I mean. What you do is you pull back and you say, well, what are you trying to say? Like, what's the message that you want to get across? And it could be that the story, the, the message is great, but it's the way that they're telling it isn't clear. So you try and figure out how can you best get across that idea? And mm -hmm. you sort of maneuver that way. Mm -hmm. The good news is we were able to save your leg. And how long does it take about, for, for, let's say, a, a three to a four minute story? It totally depends on the resolution, like what, what detail you're going for. If you're doing a really quick sketch, you could tell a, a four minute story in like 30 drawings if you want. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're doing like super detailed with all sorts of 3D graphics and lighting and effects and stuff like that, it can take a really long time. So you could do anywhere from you know, a week to six months to a year, depending on, on how detailed you want to get. Then if I created the story, would it be my, uh, I would then go out and distribute the story via some social media or... Uh, we would help you with that. Well, so how, that's how, one of the things that we want to do how, is actually how help do with... So we have a team totally dedicated to figuring out distribution. Really? Because right now it's changing so much. Yeah. Uh, it used to be that you'd have to do a distribution deal with a theater to get something out. Yeah. Uh, then you could start doing stuff online and now there's VR and there's all these areas of distribution. So we have a team that's specifically focused on trying to figure out the best distribution plan hmm. for every project that we bring in-house. Does distribution uh, mean you get to a film festival of some type? There's, they're all over the place yeah, now. Yeah, that's your goal. If that's your goal. What if, yeah. uh, but, but what's realistic? What are the distribution models out there? You have film festivals where people mm -hmm. come and view it, and distributors might want to sign a deal and pick it up and put it through their channel. It right? changes all the time. Yeah. So you know, even like with Netflix and HBO and Amazon, they've got their own models. Uh, Facebook has a bunch of distribution you could do. YouTube's got distribution. Um, you could do it yourself completely. Like you go to Vimeo. It's really all about trying to get your stuff in front of as many people as you can, and wherever they happen to be, that's what we want to help you get out mm -hmm. to. Is there a monetization model at the end of the day mm -hmm. for these people? How does that work? Yeah, we're still trying to nut down exactly what that's going to be. Yeah. Um, but the goal is to really allow people to uh, benefit and profit off of the stuff that they create. So what we're trying to do is build a model that allows the artist to profit as much as possible and then allows us to get some piece of that and then give that back to the community. Mm -hmm. I have to ask you this. this is, mm -hmm. I, I scratched my head a little bit about this. 
you know, with so much innovation here, so many creative people here, is Silicon Valley starting to move into real content creation in terms of true originality from artists, from storytellers? Yeah. Is it starting to compete with, shall we say, the old, the uh, old method? The old method of what the, the Hollywood method. I hate to call yeah. it that. I don't have a better word for it. But the old school Hollywood method. Now you're tapping into the power of the people. I think that's what you're finding. I mean, there was always creation here. If you go back to the CG industry starting, you look at PDI, you look at Pixar. Those were the real, you know, founders of what was going on, and that was mostly based up here. Um, and now what you're seeing is as the iPhones came out and people started using those to shoot home movies and you're seeing the democratization of all this technology, you have that, you know, Silicon Valley is a real force driving that and you've got a ton of ridiculously creative people up here who are using that technology and making great things and now they're finding their own ways to get it out there. I think what you find here is that people are entrepreneurs, they're not interested in letting somebody else tell them what they can and can't do. Like They're like, I have a thing, I want it to be out there. I don't want to go through somebody else and say, okay, now you have permission to put it out there. It's like, you're not going to give me permission. I'm going to make a way to get permission. And then they just go and do it. So I yeah. think that's what you're seeing is a lot of groundswell of talent just figuring it out and making it work. Is there a contact information you want to give out to anybody? Sure. Just Jason at nimblecollective.com. Well, thank you for your time, Jason. It's been delightful. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Bye.